The elites that are often Zionist elites and conservative elites and the dictatorships and the terrorist groups and the religious extremists and the royal families around the world and corrupt politicians, they all work together. They are dragging us into a new trade war and a traditional World War Three. And unless you remove them by force, we will all go to war. And I mean everyone. Remove XP Xing, Putin, Donald Trump, um, Joe Biden, Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, Theresa May, um, Michael Gove, Rupert Murdoch, um, Tony Blair, Prince Andrew, um, Peter Mandelson, um, Steve Bannon, Dominic Cummings, Putin, XP Xing, Kim Ung Un, um, remove Zelensky. If you don't start removing these people, Elon Musk, and you don't start arresting them, there'll be many crimes from sabotage, um, international crimes, um, coups. Um, you need to arrest Bibi and his whole far-right government. You need to arrest the Iranian dictator, the UAE dictator, the Jordan royal family. You need to arrest everyone like this. They are the ones, the, the Daily Mail owners supported the Nazis, um, you need to get rid of them all. You need to stand up 99%. The reason they divide you and they make you worship billionaires and celebrities is to distract you because they know psychology and they know that you're a bunch of idiots. That's why they use the psychology and the division. And they make you worship billionaires and they make you think one day that you can become a billionaire. But that would only be like one in like 600 million or one in a billion. Not many people become billionaires. And most billionaires aren't happy. Most billionaires are psychopaths, sociopaths and narcissists. If you do not stand up and remove these men around the world, mainly women as well, men and women, don't get me wrong, if you do not remove them, you will be dragged into a traditional world war. And it's all because the BRICS is part of it. The USA cannot afford to use, lose the US dollar. And Basically, World War Three traditionally started in December 2019. Then COVID locked down the world. So it delayed the Ukraine war. It delayed the Gaza slaughtering. Gaza has this lovely thing called gas. That makes billionaires. It was found in 2019. Not talking about the sea gas that they already steal. They found that there was a shitload of gas. The world's largest gas they've ever found in the ground of Gaza. Um, Netanyahu and his government knew that Hamas would get over the Iron Dome one year in advance in a 40-page report. Now, they ignored it deliberately. They did not know what Hamas would do. That's all they didn't know. Hamas decided to kidnap people for exchange of 15,000 held hostages in a Palestine torture prison in Israeli cities. Now, Israel, like conservatism and Zionism, they do this thing called indoctrination. They create the education system. They create the brainwashing. They buy media companies. Then they buy the CEO that agrees with their narrow-minded ideology. Then they buy the legal team that can close down any journalist. So it doesn't matter how many journalists you got on the left or the right in the middle. 
good ones, bad ones, corrupt ones. The lawyer can close it down. They all think like the boss and the shareholder, the biggest shareholder, which is often about basically keeping the white man in power. Please wake up. Maybe the human beings don't deserve to live. Maybe the animals should have planet Earth and the wildlife. Because there'll be a point that nukes will be used, whether it's to end the war or whatever. I mean, we are in the most extreme lifetime event for any of us and if you don't start waking up to the corruption the division division is done deliberately because nice little sheep that are divided don't go for the wolf in the hen house don't go for the wolf in sheep clothing and those are Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, Putin, ex Jing, uh, Kim Jong Un, Donald Trump, Bibi, Joe Biden, Tony Blair, Peter Mandelson, Rupert Murdoch, uh, Zelensky, and many, many more. Um, there's entire royal bloodlines and families that have created your education system that have ensured that you think you have to work 80 hours a week, that think you have to work 365 days a year, to think that you're not entitled to holiday or sick pay, to make you think that society can't run any other way without them. All stocks and shares are now are a pyramid scheme that go on and on and on and on. And when the company goes bankrupt, only the top percent, because they've bought all the politicians, get their money back. And the rest of you, if the company goes bankrupt, the bottom of the pile. Stocks and shares weren't originally designed to be an unlimited pyramid scheme. They were designed for when governments or people couldn't get bank loans, when governments wouldn't produce something. The society needed, whether it be transport, buses, the World Wide Web, whatever. That's what stocks and shares were for. They weren't designed to be unlimited forever. CEOs weren't designed to be paid with 100% tax-free stocks and shares. Then they can leverage to buy a politician, buy a dictator, buy a royal family by influence, by mainstream media. The left, the right, the gay, everything. The trans, the Black Lives Matter. They deliberately use this stuff to divide you. Someone else is the enemy. The enemy is in your education, your politics, your laws, your taxes.